Hi everyone and welcome to X Timeline. In this tutorial I wanted to show you how to add events to our timeline. So you, what you want to do is go ahead and log into your X Timeline and go ahead and locate our timeline which is called the History of Online Learning. Then go ahead and click on that title and you will come to a page like this. What you're going to want to look for is Add Event. Just located right here, and you'll go ahead and click on that. And then from here, all you're going to do is add a title. So this was the first correspondence course. And then what you're going to do is add a date. Now, if you know the exact date, that would be wonderful. If you only know the year, that will be fine, which that's all I know. And so I'm going to put in 1850. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and add tags. And this is just a way for us to go ahead and locate different events. And so you want to be fairly descriptive on your tags. And they're separated by spaces. The next item is media. And you don't have to add any media, such as photos or videos, but I do think it's quite helpful and a little bit more interactive. So I ended up locating a photo I wanted to use for my event. And that's going to be Isaac Pittman right there. So I'm just going to say open. What I did, just so you know, I had located that photo and saved it to my desktop so I could easily find it and then upload it. So go ahead and um, play with that just a little bit. I think it, like I said, makes it a little bit more interactive for people. And then the next item is the description. And so you'll go ahead and put in a description here. And please be much more specific than I'm being. Uh, go on and tell us about the event and how you think it might impact online teaching as we know it today. But since this is a tutorial, I'm just going to keep it short and brief here. And then the next item is the source. And it's always important to put down the source where you got your information. So I'm going to go ahead and put my source in there. And then after that, you just click Save, and the event has been saved to our group timeline, and you can see it right here. You can go ahead and click on it, and there it is. And you can see that the photo showed up. Um, this would be more of a description in here. Uh, these are the tags. It tells me who posted it, um, and then the source in case you want to go find out more information about this event. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. This is Nancy O'Sullivan signing off and thanks for listening.